Hello everyone, welcome to the session extracting information from the source file name and my name is Sunil and today's agenda is to know the business requirement about extracting information from the source file name and how do we implement it using the power center like basically we'll go through the steps on how to implement this feature and demo on the same and a small summary. Many times we get data files from different sources and the source file name itself might contain some valid information like file creation date, file generated with the department name, region name, etc. We used to use Unix scripts to extract such information from the file name but we don't have to write such scripts anymore. In this session let's look at the option provided by Informatica Power Center to extract information from the source file name and for our demonstration let's consider the file all underscore customers which comes in the format as we could see there that is all customers with date format as yy yy mm dd so in the power center as the first step let's create the source definition based on the source file and let's open the source definition and navigate to the properties tab and then set at currently processed flat file name port as we can see in the screenshot below there once we set the at currently processed flat file name port this property will add an additional port called as currently processed file name as it is highlighted in the screenshot there and this will be part of your source definition and this newly added port can be treated as any normal transformation port which lets you pull all the columns to an expression transformation and extract the date value which we are going to do in this particular session so let's add an expression transformation and in that expression transformation we need to add an output port of date data type called as as of date and the following expression we need to add it to the output port as of date here what we are doing exactly is we are using to underscore date function and uh, we are selecting a substring of the currently processed file name output port and then we are giving a date format to which this particular string needs to be converted to so now let's map all the columns from the expression transformation to the target and after this step the mapping will look like we have it in the below image and we are all done with the required configuration at the mapping level and we do not need any special setting at the workflow configuration once you run the workflow you will see the target table is loaded with all the columns along with as of date which is extracted from the source file name which we could see in the screenshot highlighted there that is along with the other columns like currency status etc as of date is also a part of your target table and this contains the date that is available within the source file name let's see a small demo on this so I have imported a source definition here called as all underscore customers and it has all the columns as like this and I'm going to the properties tab and I'm going to select this particular option add currently processed flat file name port which adds a port into the source definition here I have created a mapping already for a quick demo here so in this expression transformation I have added an output port called as as of date of date time data type with an expression like this and I have mapped all the columns of from the expression transformation to the target table which I'm loading the data from this all customers flat file to an Oracle table and a simple workflow with the default configuration 
to run this particular session and once this workflow is completed you can verify in your target table that we have the data with as of date as part of the source file name which you could see here in the currently processed file name I have the date here with the source file name which I have extracted using the two underscore date function and loaded as a column into the target table called as 26 December 13 and the timestamp so let's go back to the session so let's summarize what we learned in this session business requirement where we are the requirement is to extract part of the source file name uh, which is the date in this particular demonstration we saw and the steps how to implement it using the power center and a demo on the same so we would like to hear feedback from you on this particular video or any other topics you would be interested or you could also tweet us at infasupport thank you